Hey everybody, Pathways PVTV. I'm sorry I was kind of uh, off the radar for the last, well, almost 24 hours. Um, I have Airbnbs, I have a couple condos, and uh, I've been getting messages about from my neighbors that one of my guests was like unable to go ahead and remember his door lock, passcode, remember the key to get into the building, all that fun stuff. So I get a call from uh, a neighbor yesterday saying, hey, your guest is trying to get it. And I was like, right, you yeah, know, this is like three days in a row. So I go there and I find the, find the guy um, passed out on the sidewalk, you know, and I took him to the Red Cross, because you know, for low cost places here, you go to the Red Cross or you go to the regional hospital or uh, hospital for size, you're gonna pay out of pocket. So, of course, Red Cross are like, oh, we don't have a doctor on site until 7 o'clock. So, I'm like, all right. But the, one of the EMTs was there poking the guy, like, you know, get some reaction out of him. And finally, I'm like, what's up, dude? You know, and, and he came through. And, you know, the, the guy has a, uh, you know, uh, he's, in, he's been in treatment for a uh, mental condition. I don't know what you call him anymore. And so, unfortunately, he said, you know, he came on vacation and the first two, three days with him were great, great communication by, by chat. And he said that he's going down the street and he saw one of those pharmacies on the main drag and bought some anti-anxiety pills. Like, yeah, I just, I'll buy some of these. You know, apparently he's been sober for a while from alcohol. Well, anyways, uh, he said that and this is over the span of the last 24 hours to get the whole story out of them. Uh, you know, those tablets, those pills basically were a lot stronger than he expected and messed him up and he blacked out and, and then it was on, you know. So the first day or two it was the pills and then it was the alcohol. And so then I got a hold of him yesterday and, um, you know, he still snuck out in the middle of the morning you know, middle of the night to go ahead and have some drinks. So um, anyways, but he left his passport with a taxi driver because he didn't have any money to pay and all that stuff. So, you know, you got to watch out, you know, when you come here on vacation, Puerto Vallarta, those places, those pharmacies on the road, on the main drink, they're tourist pharmacies. You go to Mexico City, you don't see these places. They're not there. But you can tell because it's got, you know, like the guy's all roided out, you know, a picture of him on the front of the pharmacy and it's listing all these prescription drugs without a prescription. Um, I had family work at one of these pharmacies and they've told me, and it has been, uh, maybe some of you can quote the article that came in, you know, was that went in uh, a couple months ago, but a lot of the drugs that they sell there, their clones, their knockoffs, they might not even be the drugs. In fact, one of the uh, places that did a study of these drugs that these pharmacies were selling, I'm not saying all of them, but some of them, um, you know, they found fentanyl in some of these drugs. So, you know, they, but people go, oh, I'm buying Adderall. It's not really Adderall possibly, you know, it might just be meth, you know? So, I mean, this is not the kind of stuff that you want to mess around with. So, you know, if you're going to get, you know, prescription drugs in Mexico, get a prescription, you can go to any doctor. They'll give you, you know, a, a script for it, prescription for it, you know, for typically, you know, doc in a box, 150, 100, 200 pesos, you know, but, and then go to some place reputable, like, you know, Pharmacy Guadalajara or something like that. Anyway, so this guy went off on his bender. I got a hold of him, basically babysat him this whole morning. He was able to go ahead and work with his family, get a flight out just now, got him in the, got him, dropped him off the airport. You know, the, his passport, he left with a taxi driver, one of my I've got fantastic neighbors there for the condos, you know, the taxi driver came by, neighbor called me, got the, got the passport back, you know, so it was good. I had made, I had gone to make an emergency passport and it's, you, know, you gotta love the US consular office here. Call them, okay, emergency line, emergency line. They say, okay, here's a, a text they check your text messages, you get a text message and it gives you a little link to go ahead and make an emergency um, passport appointment or make a passport appointment. And uh, here it was like, you know, like nine o'clock this morning, I got a phone call from here for the Port of Ayrton consular office saying, hey, you know, we're, we're contacting you. So that's fantastic. 
you know, got to love paying your taxes for, for stuff like that. But yeah, um, you know, and talking to the guy, he was sobered up today a bit. And he, he says, he goes, you know, they shouldn't have those places out on the street. And I go, I know, but there's other forces, you know, at work, which is why they're able to go ahead and, and be there. And, you know, there's a lot of money laundering that happens through some of these places like that as well. So you just want to avoid them, you know, just, you know, uh, let your friends know, let your family know if they're coming down. Those are not the places, you know, those drugs that you think, you know, oh, Percocet or this, that, you know, <laughs> fentanyl. Hello. <laughs> it's a freebie. Anyways, I just want to share that because, I mean, I'm. Apologize for probably tell on my face. I'm emotionally exhausted from dealing with the situation for the past 24 hours with this guy. You know, talking to the consular office, talking to the family, you know, try to talk to him, get through to him, all that stuff. So, anyways, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching Past Plates PV TV. Share your knowledge and experience there in the, in the comments to help warn others. Thank you. Take care. Bye.